anyway, so you can tell it's you know pretty versatile. You can do uh, you know two part harmonies, three part harmonies, um, and I can do any sort of combination between the two voices. Now what the vocalist did is they came out with with the vocalist line of uh, the live two and the live four uh, just recently. What they're doing is they're phasing out the live two um, and bringing in the live three and then borrowing some of the features from the older brother, the four, and putting it into the three. Changing the look of it a bit. If you've seen the other ones, um, oh, we have them around here. Um, yeah, that was that was the old look, so it's kind of quite a bit different than, than what they used to look like. The two was basically that same thing, just sawed in half and, and, uh, and a little, so a little bit smaller. But they've added the vacuum style stomp switches on this one. They've added that part A and B switch, which I was using to go between the verse and the chorus. So I can program the A to be like I did here, a two two part harmony, and then the B to be a three part or whatever combination I want to. It just makes it so I don't have to scroll through patches and things like that when I want to go and uh, do my different harmonies throughout the song. Um, and then uh, some of the features that it borrowed from the four is this one includes pitch correction on it. And it's a nice, it's really cool because it's a variable pitch correction. And so I enable it and then I can choose if I kind of want it to be a more subtle pitch correction all the way up to something a little more hard. It never gets up to be that auto-tune, the pop star robotic sound. It's kind of more designed to be um, band, man, singer, songwriter friendly kind of a thing. So, um, it also includes on it uh, takes from the for a humanized control, which is really nice. Um, and actually, why don't I pass this box around so you guys can kind of what's in your back? Excellent. I mean, you can kind of see how close what, I, what it is I'm talking about. There's a humanized uh, feature on that, and what that does is I can vary the amount of my backup vocals to be unsynced from my main vocals. So. And the old vocal harmonizers, you had um, some, your, your backup vocals were extremely synced up with what you're singing, which made it sound robotic and very unnatural. And so the trick is, is to get it to sound just slightly delayed off, kind of in random places. And so you have control over how much of that I want. I can have it really tight, like Crosby, Stills, Nash, all the way up to just like terrible, um, I don't know, amateur rehearsal night, you know, backup singers who are just absolutely just horrible singers. But you have it if you want. So anyway, you can go in, in between those, anywhere in between. I kind of like to leave it about 12 o'clock. Gives it sort of a delayed feel in the back of vocals. And then um, I also have gender control on those two backup vocals that I that I, uh, that I want to assign. And I can assign either one to be more masculine or more feminine. So uh, in, in my case, I'd be, you know, setting it up to, to hopefully sound like I've got some female singers in the background. If you're a female singer, you can do it inversely and, and set it up so you got male, get, male vocals. So I'll go ahead and show you the, uh, some of those features. I'll go ahead and enable pitch correction. And as I'm singing, I kind of want you to notice that it's, it's kind of one of those things where you don't really, you're not really supposed to notice it. It's really supposed to be very natural uh, and you're not gonna hear that robotic steppy thing that I was talking about. And then what I'll do is I'll do two three-part harmonies on here. Uh, the, the, the verse will be male three-part harmonies and the chorus will be female three-part harmonies. So you can hear the difference between those. <laughs> I'm cooking for one while you're reading for two. Go in there's somebody else. It's so brand new. He's only a friend. You telling me now. But so we before the vows. Here's the females. You said that you stay. Well, maybe tomorrow you'll see 
Singers, we had one here. Why does she sing? Does she want to sing? 